anyway, I would like to uh, start, okay, we're ready? Vazeer and Pin, and Ome Kabela Or, the Zeer and Pin doesn't get the light, Kim Der Halon Venekeftar, to a window and a small hall. Asher Betoka Halon, Au, over at Zwuta, and through that window, the essence of the light is coming through. Bilti Masach, without a curtain. Don't forget last week we studied that Bina is distance. And here it's talking about it's closed, but it has window. But of course, it's not a physical thing. We need to understand the non physical meaning of it. Ela Shender Chachav Akzar Meod. Over as without building Masach Klal. Ela Shender Chachav Akzar Meod. It's not a big path, it's very narrow. Aval ukarov, but it's, uh, it's closer. Now, what does that mean, it's closer than Bina? We're not talking about physicality. So closer as meaning same type, same personality, same idea. We need to understand what it is in a second. Kibina Bina, ela ze'eran pin. Eno rachok. Kibina Bina, ela ze'eran pin. From Bina to the Eranpin, there is no distance. Aval, Nukva de the Eranpin, Nimshak la order Neke Vechalon, Kumo and the Eranpin, Achshu Bahaka. So, what is the difference between the Eranpin and the Nukva? Nukva means the female of the Eranpin. Okay? Sometimes we say Malchut in different uh, system. Here we call it Nukva of the Eranpin, the female of the Eranpin. She received the light also through a window and hall, like the Rampin, but it's from distance. Of course, this needs an explanation. Again, one of the danger in the study of uh, specifically Etzachayim, Tree of Life, or Talmud Eser Sfirot, or Kabbalah, is not to make akshama, not to make things to look like physicality. We need to use sometimes example, but to remember not to make akshama, not to make things physicality. For that reason, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, you know, in the Zohar, right on the danger of thinking about every term as physicality. For example, light. When I'm going to use the word light, the first thing that comes to our mind is light from a lamp, from a candle. Flashlight, but it's not that type of light. So when people tell you, you know, they become too spiritual, and they tell you, I saw the light, it's no longer spirituality, you don't see the light. Five senses cannot get it. Knowing that you don't, you cannot see the light, the five senses also doesn't make you spiritual. <laughs> you know, many people know the fact that you cannot see the light with the five senses, and they think now they're spiritual. They just have the knowledge of that. So, when we talk about spiritual essence like Akir, we need to understand when we say window, wall, distance, we don't talk about physicality. No, no, no physicality is a touch here. This is before creation of the world. So, for that reason, every word has to correspond to an explanation that will help us to understand what is the Arira by Isaac Luria, one from us, what is Ravash like one from us? Let's see. Pirush. Ki gama bina darkali ta'abe begmari pashtuda. The bina is also becoming uh, more rough, more thick, as it spread out from the endless. What does that mean? What create everything? The endless light. What create the vessel? The endless light. What is the vessel made from? Endless light. What is everything? Endless light. <laughs> so, well, what's going on? Why do we see tables, animals, vegetables? Because as much as that light has been expressed itself, further type of behavior of the light, more it's closer to the vessel type, meaning that the light is all sharing. When we talk about light, remember I said flashlight, light, then you should ask, then what should I think about when I think light? Energy. 
What should I think when I think energy? A force of giving. The idea of giving, that's the light. The idea of receiving, that's the vessel. Dark is the vessel, light is the giving. Okay? So now, when we talk about the expression of the light, so when the light is expressed itself, as further it's go away from the endless, meaning, what did I say further, doesn't mean in mile or kilometer or inches, meaning in behavior change, because there is no distance in spirituality. So when we talk about distance, we are talking about disaffinity, different type of behavior. So when we are talking about there is now light going, let's say, from the endless to Keter. Why is Keter close to the endless? Because Keter behaves as the endless, sharing. Why is Malchut is so far away from the endless? Because Malchut is the end of that splash of light, if you want splash of energy. What is it the end, if there is an end, to the splash of light coming from the endless? Something that has the least amount of behaving or intelligent of what it was originally was. So it, what happened? It become different. That different is also the endless light, but it has more desire in it. So that will be Malchut. What will be something that behave almost as the light? Keter. For that reason, what is affecting a human being? His parents, school, his teacher, his environment. The last one, environment. So it doesn't matter who you were born to. I know some people like to blame the parents, going to psychiatrists and say, what happened to grandma? And this is this to me and that this to me. And they abuse me, they abuse me physically, verbally, emotionally, sexually, you know? And that's why I have problem. Not true. You have problem because you choose to have problem. We all have been abused in one way or another. Use and abuse. I can talk for myself, I don't know about you. I was. So is that mean that I will not develop it into something? You can choose to choose after you've been abused, or you can choose to win after you've been abused. It's your choice. Don't sit and be a victim and say, that's the reason it happened to me. The question is, what type of environment happened after? This is what it's all about. Are you acting as sharing? And say, yes, I was abused, and usually you don't talk too much about it, because that turned to be a receiving. So now you are far away from the light, or you act as a sharing. You say, yes. Yes, I went through some tough time. And that tough time built within me a true desire to have a good time. I, I hope it's clear again. I don't want to speak too much about it. But I'm trying to give all kinds of exa examples that will be clear for people. And I, I think this lecture should be start, sent to part of it, to a layman of Kabbalah, so they will understand life. It's very important. Anyway. So, when we talk about Bina, Bina is distance from Chokmah. Why? Because Chokmah, what is Chokmah? All receiving. Not receiving by choice, but it's all receiving. It's a receiving that the endless created to receive all the light. What is Bina? I want to share. Sharing. So they are different. Even that Chokmah doesn't want to receive by itself is the endless light that, that force Chokmah to receive. Still, it's receiving. So because they're different, there's distance. And I know a lot of people think soulmate, you know, people ask me about soulmate, they say, well, opposite, I think they say opposite attract or something like this. Who told you that? <laughs> What is this stupid idea? I think when they were kids, they were playing with magnet. And the minus go with the plus. And then they figure out, that, oh, it was some depressed husband or depressed wife that didn't know what to do with their life of 30 years of suffering. And uh, they stop saying, you know, what can I do? Opposite attract each other. No, no. <laughs> Similar attract. Disaffinity and affinity. Okay? I mean, if you talk about my wife and me, we, we like the same thing. I hate her for that. Because when I married her, I used to love so many famous people and all this they used to be my hero. Then I find out she exactly liked the one. So I lost my unique side of me. So I started liking somebody else just to make sure that I look unique as a man. That was my main thing 
You know, as you're growing up, you admit, you say, you know what, the truth, this is all what you like, I like too, but I try to be unique, so I will be special. It's a men thing. Anyway, going back to our study. ומתוך שכל ההפרש בין הרוחניים הוא רק מפאת שינוי הצורה, אז רב אשלג מנשן דו אס אגן, the only distance or differences in spirituality is only because this affinity exists, על כן יצאה הערה חדשה זו, דהיינו האור חוזים שבתוכו הערת החוכמה, כנפי של הסוד, דהיינו השם זה ערנפין. אה, now we finally understand what זה ערנפין. It took us 104 pages to understand what is זה ערנפין. If you go back to the beginning of my lecture when I explained זה ערנפין, I always give a hint. I said, Rav Ashlag never truly explained Zeher Anpin. I had to go and study Rav Brandwein to understand Zeher Anpin. And then here, finally, remember, it's a history. Amut Kuf A. In page Kuf A, or 105, Rav Ashlag finally break down what is Zeher Anpin. And what is he telling us? Remember Bina. Bina is all over the Hasadim. So if Bina continued to Zeher Anpin, what is Zeher Anpin? So all the other chazanim. But, tell us Ravash, like, look at this. They know chazanim that in the heart of the heart. So now there is a uniqueness. So now, the heart of the heart is in the heart of the heart. So now, first, endless. Then, chokma. what is chokma? Strongest vessel without desire. Meaning, I'm here to receive whatever you tell me. I don't want it, but you told me to be. What type of light? Light of wisdom. Light of wisdom share to Bina. What is Bina? It's distance. Why? Bina only want to share. I don't want to receive. So, the light of wisdom continue. Light of mercy combine. What do you get? Zeher Anpin. You get Zeher Anpin. It's combination. Benikaken, why do we call it Zeher Anpin, Zeher Anpin? Zeher mean small. Anpin mean face. Benikaken, ki or kochma mechone or panim. Because face... Is the, called the light of the face, it's called light of wisdom, or, or the chokmah. Light of wisdom, or the chokmah, the light of the essence, we call it panim. Because there is a verse in the Torah to say that the wisdom of an individual shines from his face. So wisdom, face, that's where it comes from. Because he's is totally light of mercy. Zeranville is like Bina. It's totally light of mercy, but he has a little bit light. It comes from wisdom, light of wisdom. So that's why we call it Zeer and Pin. Small face. What do you mean small face? Small amount of the light of the face. What is the light of the face? Very good. Light of wisdom. So it's only small amount of light of wisdom. So now, this was Zeer and Pin. ונראה גם כן מבחינה ג' הוא יקרא את third phase והאביות שבו מכונה חלון ונקב צר. What type of אביות? What type of אביות? מבחינה ג' as. What type of אביות? נראה גם כן מבחינה ג' והאביות שבו מכונה חלון ונקב צר. The thickness, the desire to receive of מבחינה ג' כל חלון, window, חלון מין window, נקף צר, a small hole. כי נתבהר לאל, again, it's not physicality, שמסך הבא בעליון, מחמת התקללות התחתון, בו נקרא בשם חלון. אבל שאתה גיסטי שכזה ניו לנגוויץ' יר. What is window in קבלה? What is window in spirituality? And that's what he said. שמסך, a curtain, הבא בעליון, a curtain that happened to the level above, because the level above was mixing with the level below, we call that chalon, we call that window. Let's understand it. Masach, Ababa Elion, Masach did come to the more elevated level, because something happened in the lower level, we call that window. משום שאין בו דינים, there is no judgment there, רק סיבה לה רק כמו חלון. It's only for the sake of light or shining. ומתוך שכל האביות והמסכים שבאצילות באים בחמת התקללות, בריאה, יצירה, עשייה, שבה כן מחויה האביות וזרם פנים בשם חלון להרת אור גדלות. בשם נקב, 
צר להרת קטנות, אבל מבחינה ב' אינה נקראת אפילו חלון, אלא הרחקה. We need to understand, that's a very profound, not because there is many words, because it's a profound subject. So it's like this. Why we only call it חלון? Because if we talk about מסך, מסך include judgment, דינים. משום שאין בו דינים, רק סיבה להערה. That מסך, that window, that hall, is only a reason to shine more light. It's only the reason. Usually the מסך call judgment, because the מסך is like a curtain that doesn't like to go in. This thing, that is in a way מסך, why is that מסך? What is the window does? What's the purpose of the window? To bring light into the house. Not to prevent the light. The wall around the house preventing the light of the sun and the light to come in. So you, you can neg- navigate how much light can come into your house. That's the cause of the window. Tremendous invention by, by the time, before the time of the Roman. And we talk to all of you to Masachim, Shabbat Tzilut, Ba'im Echamat Kalut Bria Yitzida Asiya, And because we are talking here about Atzilut, the world of emanation, and every Masach in the world of emanation is coming because you put everything together, you put Bria, Yetzirah, Vasiyah, the world of creation, the world of formation, and the world of action together. So all those Masachim, all those curtains are for the purpose of bringing light down, Sheba, Bria, Yetzirah, Asiyah, within Atzilut. So Bria of Atzilut, Yetzirah of Atzilut, Asiyah of Atzilut, meaning creation of Atzilut, creation of emanation, formation of emanation, action of emanation, which means it's a system within the world of emanation. Alken mechuna aviyut de zeran pin v'shem chalon. That's why the aviyut, the what type of desire, what type of thickness of the zeran pin, we call it window. Why? Because it brings light. It brings light. What type of light? Gadlut. What is Gadlut? Gadlut means light of wisdom. Gadol. It's great. Umishem nekev tsar la'arat katnut. Why do we need a hole if there is a window? Because that's for katnut. That's for a small amount of light. So of course we don't talk about something physical. Bechina bet, the second phase, which is bina, ena nekret afilu chalon. So what do you call bina? Not even a window. So what do you call bina? Arachaka. Distance. 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 Why? Because there is totally a different system. Here, there is still light of wisdom coming in. The only place the light of wisdom is not coming in is Bina. But it's going to Zeran Pin a little bit, going to Malchut a lot, Chokmah from the beginning. One system that doesn't get it, Bina. Bina. So, when we talk about Bina, it's distance. When you talk about the Eran Pin, it's closed, but there is a window. It's not a physical thing, it's so important for me that you will understand it today. It's more what type of resistant there is within the receiver not to receive the light. That's, that's the best way of explaining it. Bina, distance. The Eran Pin is hole and windows. And Malchut, Distance and hall and window. I, I cannot explain more than that, I'm sorry. We're going to move on. Now, so, Ari said that Zeher Alpin is closed. What does that mean? Klomar, she'en bo arachakat chokmah she'et p'china b'bina. Same like we said before. There is no distance, meaning that Zeher Alpin, Zeher Alpin, is not like Bina, Kanal Mishum Shekol Efresh Bunon Le Bina, Mishum Shekol Efresh Bunon Le Bina, Mishum Shekol Efresh Bunon Le Bina, Bina doesn't have light of wisdom within it, and the Eran Pin has. Veze Shamar Rav, Aval U Karov. And that's what the Ari meant, that the Eran Pin, you need to know, is closer. Klomar She'en Bo Arachaka. You don't need to put distance. So again, what is Karov Erechok? Karov, similar, closer, similar. 
similar. When a person acts with sharing and giving and helping, a person acts like the light. When a person thinks, what can I get, what can I get, what can I get? Problem. When a person tries to say, what can I get to make the other person who share happy? That's a vessel. So, light, problem, vessel. Light is giving. Vessel will be, I want to take, because I know you will be happy if I take. Negativity or clipot, I want to take as much as I can take. I don't care if you don't have. Also, if you give for the sake of ego, sake of recognition, and stuff like that, can be an issue. Why? We are living in a very special generation. We live in a generation of spirituality become cool. Does that make you spiritual? It's cool to be spiritual. In the old days, spiritual people didn't have a physical life. And people who are into physicality didn't have spiritual life. I was looking for an answer why? So, I read it from Rabbi Nachman of Breslev, who write that the people who practice spirituality and still have money, still have everything they need, they were poor in another lifetime as a rabbi or as a spiritual guru. And that's why, I'm sorry I'm touching my nose, I don't want to sneeze on you. That's why this lifetime there is. That's one explanation. But it doesn't mean that everybody who's practiced spirituality is rich. They were spiritual before. So it's very important that you understand it. But again, going back, if your drive is to be spiritual and at the same time have money, then you are the most selfish person. <laughs> why? Because you want to have two fulfillment. Fulfillment of your soul and fulfillment of your body. Is that something wrong with that? Nothing is wrong with that if your intention is right. If your intention is truly for the sake let's, of study and growing up spiritually, and the business, you're having fun making business, making money, but it's not because you are receiving more. If your pleasure is to receive more money and to receive more spirituality for you receiving it, that can create a problem. Yes. That's going to create a problem. Because, because we try to win the both world. Can't do that. Today it's become fashionable. People are doing business and they give like 20 minutes for spirituality. We all do that. But some do more, some do less. You can't do that. You got to focus on your spirituality, develop yourself, and then once you understand spirituality, go do everything physical. I'm not saying don't go to work. Of course go to. But you got you to gotta develop your soul first. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. Now, for example, there is people who are very excited about spirituality, but when there is a method of keeping some of the method, some of the ceremony, or respecting, uh, let's say, when it's come to Kabbalah, kosher food. You know, kosher food is one of the things that you elevate the people who are being reincarnated in a specific food, and you're helping them. That's what kosher food is all about. When you go to a person and say, please only eat kosher from now on. If you want to be spiritual, they will make fun of you. But if you tell them, let's meditate and connect to some angel, everybody will agree, it's cool. How come? How come the first one is tough? It's because it's not clear to people. Every aspect of spirituality has vessel and has light. The aspect of spirituality, that it's the light, of course the meditation is the connection, is the happy, is the study, it's wonderful. But then there is a vessel that you need to build for you to receive that study or to receive that knowledge or to receive that happiness, capture it and it will stay with you. And that, when you do the, what we call the mitzvot, the precept, they are the vessel, they are agufim, they are the body of the spirituality. So for that reason, a lot of people who practice spirituality, but then don't have the vessel to hold that they feel happy when they study, they feel happy when they meditate, they feel happy when they do Shabbat or something like that, but then the miserable after they leave the door. Why? Because they don't have a vessel where to hold it. Was that clear, Debbie, in English? Mm -hmm. I don't want to sound too religious. Because, did I sound too religious? I just want to say it because it's important. So, for example, people ask me, Aliyah, if you're only spiritual, why are you praying three times a day? In your neighborhood, on the street, you pray. 
And I said, that's my vessel to capture everything that I'm doing spiritually. Without it, I can't capture it. It would be a nice spiritual thing. Then I capture it and take it with me. I don't have another solution for you guys. I mean, I follow what my grandfather follow, and I follow what his father and grandfather follow, and all the way to the time of Abraham. I think they knew what they were doing. I, uh, it's not like today everybody announced themselves as a Kabbalist or as a rabbi and they teach Kabbalah and they're cool and they wear a baseball hat and here I am, I'm cool, follow me. You know, I have to follow somebody or something that wasn't look that cool, but it was real. So if you want to follow something real, you got to follow. Gufet, Aruchaniut, Varuchaniut. Spirituality and the body of spirituality. The body of spirituality have 613. 365 negative things you shouldn't be doing. Let's say not to eat a pig or shrimps. And 248 of positive things you should do. It. For example, love the neighbor as thyself. So those 613 precepts are fixing your life. 248 uh, um, positive one fixing your organ. You have 248 organ in your body or ligament. 365 is the days of the year. So every day you become happy by preventing one thing from those 365. You like it, no? Now those are the bodies. Those are the vessel to where the light shine. That's why when you look at the picture of Ravash, like, I don't think we look the same. It's wearing the, 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 the hat and the streamer and all this and that. I don't know if we will have, like today he has 20 million followers from China, from everywhere. But if they see how we look, maybe they will not follow. Because they will get scared for how we look like. But it was practiced, the gufea mitzvah, the body, together with spirituality. So I'm sorry that I'm stopping to tell you this. Uh, this week, it was my son Yehud and my wife uh, told me that sometimes I'm not explaining uh, the Kabbalah in a layman term. So I'm working on writing a course now that will explain it more in a layman term for everybody, even easier than Kabbalah gym. So I'm writing it now. Blin Nether will see how long it's going to take me. Maybe for Rosh Hashanah we release one lecture. So it will help people truly to understand the real Kabbalah, not just hocus pocus Kabbalah that you come to, I don't know, two week course or crash course, and after 10 weeks you call yourself a Kabbalist. Uh, it doesn't work like that. And because you did some two and a half restriction not to eat ice cream, you think you did it right. No! Restriction is only deal with the 613 thing. If you didn't eat ice cream, if you did, you're not getting anything. You don't get any vessel. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the bad news. Guys, the restriction now only work on the 613 specific vessel. Wasn't part of my plan to talk about it today, but um, I look at some people who talk to me and I realize that they practice spirituality. They're really good people. They're the best people I ever met. And it bothered me that when I hear people who are doing everything and they don't have a better life, not say perfect, none of us meant to have perfect life. 70% is considered perfect in life, 70. If you have above 70, you are perfect. 70 average, below, it's a problem. You're supposed to have 70% of good time in this life. 30% is your tikkun. That's, that's a maximum. If you have 40% tikkun of 50, 50, not good, not good. Not good. Get a check if you're doing all the precept. I just heard there is a family who start um, following the kosher law. And I told Debbie, I just hope they will not fall into religiosity. Because sometimes when you follow the law, you become too religious in your mind and you lose spirituality. That's also not good. So remember, the religiosity with an understanding is the vessel. The spirituality is the light within the vessel. Klomar, it pashtut or bina, le pchina gimel, she was a rabbin nagobret archaka. Ela adra bashubet kivat chokma. Bekvarit bela ela shakarov archok and magdarim shel chokma. So, chet. It pashtut or bina, the light of bina, spreading to the third phase, which is the rampin, it's not distance. How come there's no distance between Ben Bina and Zerampin? Because Bina getting closer to Zerampin 
Why is Chokhmah doesn't get distance from the Arapid? Because we heard that Chokhmah and Bina are distant from each other. The light of wisdom is not close to the light of mercy, which is in Bina. But because, because, as we explained it in the beginning, if you remember, because Bina, path away from the endless, becoming also with strong desire, but as strong desire doesn't come to a fruition, doesn't come to a fulfillment, doesn't come into an existence, doesn't come to manifestation. That little bit, that desire being manifest to the Eran Pin, who's drawing a little bit of light of wisdom, and mostly a light of mercy. Pirush, Rajal it Pashtu, given Pachinot of Yud Bibiloam, as the Barit Pashto Shal Zeran Pin, as the Torah Rachel Kabel Shura Shalem Aroila Kabala, Vulika Pachina Dalit. So now, after those three phases, as we studied before, is spread out in a full capacity, at Gemarit Pashtuto, Shel Zerampin, until Zerampin finished to spread, as the Torah Ratzol Kabel, then it becomes a strong desire, Bishura Shalem Aroila Kabala, Funikra Pchinadaret, O Malchut, O Nukva de Zerampin. Then the true essence of a desire to receive being awake. And we call the true essence of desire Pchinadalet, fourth phase, or Malchut, or Nukva de Zerampin, or the female of Zerampin. So now you understand that we, we say before Nukva de Zerampin, the female of Zerampin, and I say it's like Malchut, it's exactly like Malchut. It is Malchut, or Pchinadalet. Oboya Tzimtzum, only there the Tzimtzum take a place, the contraction take a place. Canal, Beofen Shabit Tzimtzum, Beelach, and Abchina Adalet as we cannot order. At Orens of Baruch meaning that from the Tzimtzum and over and continuation, that four phase cannot receive no longer the endless light. That's why whatever doesn't receive light of wisdom, it's called distance. Whatever receives the light of wisdom, called Kirva, Karov. So, what do we call Malchut if it doesn't receive the light of wisdom after Tzimtzum? Rachok. Rachok. Distance. What do we call Bina? Rachok. Distance. Why? Because whatever doesn't receive the light of wisdom, we call him Rachok. Distance. Why is it like that? You know, the old language, you know, when you get into the language of Hebrew, there is the word Rachok being used in many ways. You know, usually when somebody is not practicing spiritual law, you said this, we say, rachok, rachok, rachok. And when you want to get somebody closer to the light, closer to spirituality, we say, you got to make him closer. We use the word like that exactly. It's amazing. In Hebrew and spirituality, we say, he went far, and when it's come to uh, a person coming closer to spirituality, he went very close, he came very close. So, when we say Rachok ve Karov in the language of Kabbalah, Rachok mean no light of wisdom, Karov mean light of wisdom. Yeah. That's why it's called distant Malchut, or Pchina Dalet, or Nukva de Zerampin. But she also has a window and a hole, like Zerampin, like Zerampin. Because remember, the Gadlut, the greatness, light of wisdom, we call it window. And a hole, it means Katnut, meaning the light that comes from Bina. So what is the difference between the distance that Malchut has to the distance that Bina has? I was like telling us a secret. He said there is a huge difference. Bina is distance by desire. Desire. I want to be distance from Chokhmah. I don't want to receive light of wisdom. Why is Bina distance from Chokhmah? Because Bina want to do giving, want to do sharing, want to be kind. It's a noble behavior of Bina. She choshekit the chasadim in Chokhmah. Say, I don't want to be of the of, of the receiver. I want to be of the giver. I want to be like the light. That's Bina. It's a new system. 
new system. אבל הרחקה זה בחינה ד', so the בחינה ד', the fourth phase, the nukva of zeh anpin, the the malchut, why there is distance there, היא הרחקה מאונס, I'm being forced, I'm being forced to be distance, דהיינו בחמת מסך שאני אתקן בבחינה ד', because of the מסך that been built after צמצום, after the, the, the contraction that a מסך was built, so now is no longer, is no longer uh, a concept of Bina, uh, uh, it's now by force. I have to be distant and I have to be in a position not to receive light of wisdom. So that's a big difference.